I'm Meredith, and I'm a deployment strategist at Palantir. During my time as an active duty Air Force officer, I saw firsthand how hard it is to navigate the fog of war. Over the past 20 years, we've been focused on the counterinsurgency fight. And all that time, our near peer rivals have observed our actions, learned our capabilities, and grown bolder. The South China Sea is heating Vladimir up. Putin tells the U.S. A North Korean nuclear attack could be... Tensions between the U.S. and Iran are near Taiwan as tensions escalate. Now that the focus is shifting to great power competition, the real question is, can we deter the next great war? As a notional example, an escalation could start with something as simple as the Chinese military conducting a routine exercise in the South China Sea. To see the full picture and make tactical, operational, and strategic decisions, the U.S. and allied forces rely on Palantir. Monitoring the exercise, AI models running on satellite data detect an increased level of military activity. To the north, ship detection models identify an alarming buildup of fishing vessels surrounding a major Taiwanese port. An activity model detects that many of those ships are tied together, suggesting an ulterior motive and increasing the risk of a blockade. The U.S. maintains a national interest in free trade throughout the South China Sea. And as an island only 90 miles off the coast of mainland China, Taiwan is especially reliant on freedom of navigation through international waters. This free trade is particularly critical given that Taiwan produces 80% of the world's semiconductors. The device you're watching this on today almost certainly relies on these parts. Any disruption could be disastrous. So as the team watches closely with partner nations, a new alert comes in from Japanese intelligence. The Chinese Luyang destroyer has gone dark and isn't showing up on intelligence feeds. The ship had previously been docked at a southern naval base, but AI models detect that it's now missing. Gotham fuses data from multiple sources to project likely paths for the Luyang. The most dangerous routes head east, towards both the military exercise and the mounting tensions outside the Taiwanese port. The analyst identifies a key fork to monitor between the routes. To collect more imagery, machine learning models built by academic and commercial partners run on data across all domains. The models determine that satellite coverage alone is not enough to find the ship. Based on what is capable and ready, the system recommends a few alternatives. The best option is an aircraft from Okinawa. Before finalizing the selection, analysts deploy the latest micro models trained to avoid incoming threats, identify military equipment, and detect military ships. The unmanned aircraft receives its mission and prepares for takeoff. Time is ticking, and they need to find the ship quickly. As the aircraft departs, video streams back to headquarters in real time. A ship identification model detects the dimensions, speed, and weapon system of the destroyer headed north. An analyst back in the operations center verifies the detection, which confirms the Luyang is on the most dangerous path and is only a few hours away from the potential blockade. The commander is briefed on the fast developing situation and examines several human and machine generated courses of action that have been jointly tested and developed in past exercises and simulations. The first option involves sending reinforcements to a nearby base, which may take too long. The second option is to send a manned aircraft over the fishing vessels, which could introduce unnecessary risk. The third option is a freedom of navigation operation, which means positioning an American or allied ship closer to the developing situation. This option appears to have the highest probability of success with the lowest risk. Joint forces decide to task an American ship. Once the choice is selected, a task order is submitted, and the American ship quickly alters course. The team watches closely as the operation progresses. And as the American ship approaches, the fishing vessel blockade begins to disband, and the Lu Yang continues north without incident. While this example was notional, events like these happen more often than you realize, and one wrong move could put millions at risk. In these situations, Palantir Gotham provides those who protect our values with the technology to make decisions at speed and in the process, 
makes the world a safer place.